especially for the ladies, they will use the mosque because sometimes ladies are not allowed it to go outside. So the ladies they will pray inside the and they will use the mosque. The Muslim they will pray five times in a day. So the ladies they will pray every day inside the mosque. And sometimes the king was not living in the palace, so he was pray outside. He was use the big mosque that is built on a hill, so he can easily to see the view of the city from east, west, north, and south. And you're saying right here they would fire down when the British attack from yes. the holes in, yes, in there. Yes, sir. And then this moat, would, they would pour oil down on them as well. Yes, oil and the full of water during time of monsoon in this canal. Because in the past time, one river that we call Yamuna, right. that is the lifeline of the Delhi people, and it will, it will be flow just to behind the residence palace of the kingdom. So they use that water for drinking water Yes, when, when the monsoons hit in this moat. Okay. Okay, so this is Lahori Gate. This is the main gate. And about the seven canopies are there. Seven canopies. Seven canopies put for seven days in a week. Oh, each one for one day of the week. Okay. Yeah. Here we see the, the the main platform where the king was sitting and the king sitting. was sitting straight ahead. Yes, sir. Okay. So we're still here inside the Red Fort. This is the mosque. And in this area here is the palace. And the king and the concubines and the queen lived here, but mostly men were in this area. And there's another palace. And years ago, maybe centuries ago, there was a river back there. It was very scenic, but the river has since dried up, I believe. So in the night time when put the light on it, it will be sparking. And light is spread all over all over. And these are stone work. Look like a doing some painting on it, but it's not painting, it's a real inner work in red sun, white part. So that's kinda of like in, what they call it, inlaid or it's not a painting, it's uh, just that's all stone. So when they clean it, they don't use any chemicals. But it looks new. Yeah. And how old is the mosque? It is built in uh, during time of 1650. 1650? Yes. Ah. So these were the army barracks built in the 17th century. And then on this side with the gardens, these buildings were more from the 16th century. And then they added more and more. 
We're here in Jodhpur, the blue city, and that is the fort. Go high atop the bluff. And we're gonna be visiting the fort in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are at the outside of the fort. Pretty impressive. A lot of people died, so their memorial here, you know, and water supply system on the top. You see the Persian wheel, the water licked on the top, uh, and Ganesha for a good luck. So these paintings from the early 19th yeah, century? Yeah, early 19th century. This is a wedding of Shiva. Shiva. Wedding of Shiva. All right, so that's one of the two main gates. And, yeah, first gate is Jaipur. Okay. And it's Ganesha and Shiva. Hey, wait until you see this. Oh, baby. That is cool. So we fahren mal bitte mit dem Fahrstuhl hinauf. Laufen wir dann zu Oh my god. There's a great view of Jodhpur, the blue city. Now we see some blue, definitely. We're, we're still at the fort. Particularly, this area is known as Brahmapuri. So only the Brahmins, community people live here. And Brahman is highest caste in Hinduism. Mm. So if you want to put this color, the most people hate about this color. So they know not a glasses. This is the region of the blue city. So this is from the 19th century. Yeah. Next to it is the 18th century. Yeah. yeah. And then we have the 17th century. So they, they would keep adding on, which is why this fort is so big. I think we got a picture with this guy. Yeah, this really
The bedroom of the Maharaja. 36 wives, 90 girlfriends. 36 wives, 90 girlfriends, okay. Busy man, busy man. This is the meeting hall of the Maharaja. Beautiful psychedelic color. This is not wood. It looks like wood. Looks like wood, but it's not wood. What century was this built? This is on 17th century. 17th century, wow. Beautiful. So this one is the oldest part of this pool. This is the oldest part of this fort, built by 1459. When the fort was built, they start from here. So all red sand stone, beautiful carving work, look like a wood, but it's not wood. Right. Architecture way, you see the three types of architecture. This type of dome is a Mughal architecture, floor of Persia, site called typically Rajput architecture, okay? And original rooms, the door is like this type of door, and painting.
امروزی Agra Fort was built in the year 1573 under the reign of Akbar the Great, one of the Mughal emperors who rebuilt what was a brick fort into a red sandstone and brick fort. It was during this time that the main part of Agra Fort was built. It took more than 4,000 workers and 8 years of hard work to complete the fort. Knowing the significance of its location, Akbar built the fort to make it the main residence of the Mughal emperors, which it was until 1638 when the capital was shifted from Agra to Delhi. This is the main gate of Agra Fort that tourists enter because the Indian military, and in particular the Parachute Brigade, is still using the northern portion of Agra Fort, and the Delhi gate in that area of the fort cannot be used by the public. Jahangir Mahal or Palace was the principal palace for women belonging to the royal household and was used mainly by the wives of Akbar. It features a form of Islamic architecture. The palace was built by Akbar and is one of the earliest surviving buildings of Akbar's reign. In his memoirs, Akbar's son Jahangir stated that the buildings were erected by his father Akbar, but Akbar did not take any credit for the construction of Jahangir Palace. Jahangir's wife, Mughal Empress Noor Jahan, used this palace as her residence until her death in 1645. No modern tourists, nothing was there. So this is all handmade, no yeah. it's handmade tools, beautiful. And this is the palace. Palace of Jahangir. Jahangiri Palace. The father of Shah Jahan, who made the Taj. All have been done symmetrically from very corner of the building. But these five screens which you are looking is meant for the Muslim women of the Haram to look at from behind whatever the functions, activities going on to this side. But during those days, they were not permitted to come in front of the strangers or to the unknown people. The teenagers used to stand on all these arches with the colorful dresses, so anything happens good. They just put, throw the rose flower petals on them to cheer them up. <laughs> So this is actually a bookshelf. Yeah, you can see how faded it is. That, that's over 500. Years, that's over 500 years old, right? So this was part of the water system. Oh, I see a nice yeah. white building over there. Folks, we're about to see one of the most famous buildings in the world. And later on tonight, we're going to get closer up. 
but let's check out the view from one of the windows here. Yeah. There it is, the Taj Mahal. Beautiful. Musaman Burj was built by Shah Jahan for his beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal. It is said that at first, a small marble palace built by Akbar was situated at this site, which was later demolished by Jahangir to erect new buildings. Shah Jahan chose this site to erect a multi-storied marble tower inlaid with precious stones for his wife. It was built between 1631 to 1640. It was only during the reign of Akbar's grandson, Shah Jahan, that Agra Fort took on its current state. Unlike his grandfather, Shah Jahan tended to have buildings made from white marble. He destroyed some of the earlier buildings inside the fort to make his own. Most of the others were destroyed by the British between 1803 and 1862 for raising barracks. About 30 of the original 500 buildings survive. Shah Jahan could no longer afford to pay his troops and generals. The emperor fell seriously ill in 1658. His four sons, sensing an opportunity, moved in for a chance to rule a vast Mughal empire with all of its wealth. All four men were governors of Mughal states at the time of their father's illness. Aurangzeb, the most politically savvy of Jahan's sons, had his father arrested in 1658. He feared his father would expedite the ascension of Shah Jahan's favored son to the throne because of his illness, so the other brothers backed his move. He was also not happy that so much money was being spent on monuments such as the Taj Mahal, the beautiful tomb created by Shah Jahan, who was forced to only see it from a distance from his bedroom where he was imprisoned. Shah Jahan died in 1666. Known as Divane Am. And what are, what are the domes? Those domes was known as a Moti Masjid, the mosque for the Muslims to pray. That is the mosque, okay. I was going to say that was the mosque. First we're going to start with the main courtyard that we came into with the elephants. What a great view from up here. And then this is the hall where justice was served. Close 
lapis lazuli, malachite, and 24 karat gold leaf. Nice. Otherwise known as concubines. And this is where they would gather and gossip.
the Hazelmere Fort from the artificial lake area. And the fort is our next stop. So Jaisalmere is called the Golden City because they used the local sandstone to build their structures. How old is this fort? It's uh, 12th century. 12th century? 12th century. And then they've done some additions, I'm sure. But it's been around for a while. Beautiful. How old is this gate? For this gate? Yes. 1156, first gate. Wow, 1156. And counting in place, third. But when they start to work up the fort, first guys consider this gate. Because in Hindu mythology, we are first worship Lord Ganesha. That's why we call that gate of Ganesh. So the Maharaja lived here and the Queen lived next door. Queen named that once. Yeah, and this one here, okay. So this is the oldest inhabited fort in, I think, Rajasthan. People live here, have been living here for a, a very long time. In this and all houses painted to Ganesha, mm. sign of Ganesh. Ganesh. Ganesh, yes. This is a statue for Han monkey god Hanuman. Oh yes, I went to the Hanuman temple. Yeah, you've been there. Yeah, that was in uh, Kajur. No, where was that? Hanuman temple. Oh, in uh, New Delhi, right? Oh, New Delhi, a yeah, big yeah. one. Yes, the very big one. Uh, in uh, Mehroli. These are the Jain temples within the fort complex.
in the middle? Yeah. Vanessa, Shiva. Which one is Shiva? Shiva uh. Uh. Vanessa, Kali. All right. Kali, concert of Shiva. Durga, we call it Durga. I'm now walking the uh, side streets here on my own. I have no idea where I am. Just gonna make sure I don't get lost. Excuse me. Let me see. See why Gezelmeyer is known as the Golden City. Well, we came upon a few bats. Uh oh. 
Oh, Ooh, he just moved. I did not get my rabies shot. Looks like a spider. He's got very little tail. Stay where you are. Oh, it's got very the price of them.